Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we will be working on our mace dragon step, but we are going to take it and put it into an alternating format. In a previous video, we had used our mace essentially as a cane to set ourselves up for a one-sided dragon squat. We set up, foot pointed straight ahead, rear foot, we are trying to point our heel straight that way. So our feet are in an L situation. Get your mace wherever it needs to be to support you. Get all the way down, stand all the way up if you can straighten your legs all the way out and come back to center. We had been just repeating one side so that our base foot would not move. Now we are going to do the same thing, but we are going to start alternating sides. Isolate, isolate. This is the integration part. It is not super fancy, but it is important if you want to do super fancy stuff later. We are gonna start. This is our base leg, point it straight ahead. I'm always talking about pointing your base leg straight ahead because when you start doing all these other transitions, if this foot was turned out, these things don't link together. So think, two feet pointed straight ahead. This heel stays on the ground. Go down as low as you can for the heel to stay on the ground. Get our feet in that L position. On the first rep, you're gonna find that distance. I want knee to ankle because that's the way I learned it in the Shaolin style of Kung Fu that I did. Trying to keep this heel flat on the ground. If this heel is lifting up off the ground, try to sit back in that heel as far as you can until that heel is on the ground. Stand all the way up. Try and straighten the rear leg out first, then the lead leg, then come back to center. Then we are gonna to go to the other side. We're not gonna move our cane for now. Point this foot straight ahead. Step all the way around. You will notice torque in this lead knee. There should not be a lot of torque in the rear knee because the foot should be in a straight line. Find that distance, stand all the way up. Rear leg straight, front leg straight, Come back to center. Foot straight ahead, get down, knee touches the ground, stand all the way up, back to center. And now we are alternating those sides back and forth. Not every rep is gonna be good because not every step distance is going to be right. Over time, the more steps you take, the more data your brain will have in order to tell you how big this step needs to be. And they will get prettier and prettier and prettier. So we're always taking these movements and making them simple to complex. Isolate one side, isolate the other side, add them together. Of course, you can always change from using your cane on one side to using your cane on the other side. That might not affect everybody, but it will affect some people. Some people will figure out that when they put the cane in their other hand, their brain will do something different. We are closing the connection between this hand and this line of the body. And when you change it to your non-dominant side, you might find out that your brain doesn't connect the same way. That's fine. Do it with both hands when you're doing your multiple sets because we're always balancing everything exactly. Symmetry is key. Brain science is key. The important parts are we're trying to get our knee down to the ground. Our base leg heel is on the ground. If it is lifting up, it's probably not an ankle issue. It is probably some type of core issue. You probably need to sit further back in that movement instead of being forward, leaning forward. It could be an ankle issue, but this is how you would work on it. If you need to put yoga blocks down underneath that rear knee to limit the range of motion, go ahead and do that. We don't have any yoga blocks out here, but that is a possibility. You can always, always, always make smaller steps. 